What is up guys, McCann here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. It's currently quarter to seven on Tuesday evening and we actually have a wee bit of content to look at for tonight. We have a player SBC, a flashback SBC and believe it or not we actually have new milestones. Um, but the biggest news in my opinion is the fact that a uh, foot birthday has officially been confirmed for Friday. So let's load up Ultimate Team. Let's see the loading screen. Let's see what we're getting. If it does drop us any hints or tips, it is starts in two days, 23 hours. There is absolutely nothing else in that screen to suggest that anything else is happening in terms of like maybe hints for cards or whatever. But foot birthday's confirmed, guys. That is the main thing. It's been two weeks without a promo. The last promo was a uh, foot, uh, foot what if. Um, it has definitely been a long time coming. We do have new milestones, as I say. As you can see them right there. The MLS uh, Squad Foundations number two is released, guys. And then we also have a flashback. Chicharito Hernandez, SBC, or Javi Hernandez, whatever you want to call the guy. Um, which is not too bad, so we'll have a look at him as well. What I want to do first, though is check the objectives and uh, obviously the milestone section. So, no new objectives for me, guys. I have completed Giroud, I've completed Magidi, Silver Beasts, uh, Prime Pursuit. We have completed Everton as of today. I've done a massive, massive grind. Was no on stream of that, guys. Um, I've not been on stream for nearly a week now. I've just not really found the time to sit and uh, actually get the live streams out there. But I will get back to that. Don't worry about that. I will be back. But... Keep up to date with the YouTube vids and the content that has dropped is, is, is important for me. So that is what we'll continue to do. So as I said, the majority of objectives I have completed um, basically the day. I finished off the Prime Pursuit, as I said, and uh, the the Silver Beasts and the Silver Stars was completed the day. Giroud was completed last night. What I've also done is I completed as of last night slash this morning was the Championship Foundation, the St. Patrick's Day Foundations, and the Eredivisie Foundation. So if you actually look at this, it is 18, 18, and 14. So I've theoretically played around 50 games on my Zero Masterpiece. The game mode's getting boring. It's getting dementing for me personally, playing my 77 rated players up against people's 90 rated Mbappes. I've actually had people bringing on 95 Team of the Week, Cristiano Ronaldo's and stuff. It's just some games are just impossible um, and it's just such a daunting process. But as I said, um, I did actually put a post up on my Facebook page last night that if you play with four Republic of Ireland players within your championship squad, so four Republic of Ireland players in the championship, um, you will be able to complete the St. Patrick's Day and the championship at the same time. So it is play 18 matches with 11 EFL players, which is fine. But if you have four of them that are Irish, I will catch this one here. So play 14 matches with four Republic Ireland players in your starting squad. Obviously, you've got the assist in the six goals with three balls with Irish players and the scoring the 10 goals with Irish players. Um, and then, obviously, you have other objectives complete, like the, the scoring the 12th finesse with championship players and then assisting goal with, goals with crosses with the championship players. You can get a lot of it done when you put the two squads together, guys. So that is just a wee trick, hint, whatever you want to call it. That is what I've done. As of this morning, I completed the Eredivisie Squad Foundation, so we have added three day players to the club. And then, obviously, it was inevitable, knowing my luck, that they would end up bringing out another squad foundation. The reason for me completing all of them was because I know there's a new season on Friday, and I knew that there will be new objectives, there will be new season progress stuff, and I'm not really wanting these milestones kind of hanging about while I'm trying to complete other stuff. It just kind of annoys me because that's how I am. I like to card to collect. I like to play as much gameplay objectives as I possibly can. So that obviously takes us on to tonight's um, milestones objectives, guys, which is score 12 finesse goals, um, and then it is a Manjiro masterpiece, as we know, and then assist a six goals with crosses. The exact same as championship, the exact same as uh, the Eredivisie milestones, and then obviously it'll be play 18 matches and then win eight. So I actually have another 18 matches in Manjiro masterpiece to play. Um, which again, as I said, it's just it's getting beyond a joke, really, in my opinion, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. Magic Masterpiece for me is just such a dead game mode. Um, give us like a one nation or a one league. A one league would be perfect for this because if you look at the, the the MLS players in the game this year, I've absolutely been insane. In fact, what I will do is I'll go and show you 
what kind of um, MLS players were actually looking at. I could build a squad with MLS players. Um, so let me just put in MLS here, guys. Just to show you an example of how good a one-league um, um, objective could be or like a one-league friendly mode could be to complete these objectives. Um, so let's fire it into <coughs> MLS. So you look at we can actually play with. We've got the Higuain flashback, the Santos player moments, and then you've got Bojan, Lima and Long, who were the first set of squad foundations. We've obviously got the Matuidi, and then we've got Zella Ryan, who's the, the hero card, I believe that is, yep. So we've got decent enough players there. With the addition of the three players that um, we will get through these squad foundations, we, we could potentially have an absolute brilliant one-league MLS set up. And then obviously we've got uh, Chikorito to look at, who's an RMLS player who actually basically well, he does perfect link to the Santos and stuff like that. So I just feel like there should be more. We've obviously got Mukhtar and Dam as well, who were two Silver Stars cards. I just feel like there should be more improvisation, in my opinion. Just firing this into managerial masterpiece all the time. It's just so daunting, it's so boring, and it's just getting so outdated. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, we will have a look at the three players on Footbin, guys. Just let me load them up there now. So they're right there, as in the new players bit, which is absolutely brilliant. So then that takes us to... Um, the squad building challenges for this evening guys, which as I said, there already is a Chicharito there who I've highlighted so I would remember he was there. In terms of other live content, I don't believe there is anything. Obviously the two player in the months, Mbappe and Sancho are still there. Rabio has two days left. I'm probably not going to get him completed in time guys. Um, he's an absolutely brilliant card but his SBC is quite pricey in my opinion. The two, ben the two Bender bras, I'm nearly there. I've got one, e one at each completed. Um, which is no too bad. Um, the 85 posh, I'm not completing that. The prime or the mid upgrade, I won't be completing that. Muller, uh, two days left, I'm only be completing him. And then obviously Messi, it's going to be quite difficult for me even try to complete him. As you know, guys, if you've been keeping up with my videos and content and stuff, I'm basically focused on icons. That's where I am. I've nearly completed Puyol just with the grinding. I've not yet started on any Macaulay's and brought right. I've, com I've nearly completed Puyol, I've got two segments left, and I have actually completed Nedved and Quivert. So, um, that is where my focus in terms of SPCs is, guys. But anyway, let's have a look at Hernandez. For Hernandez, we need a Mexican player, 80 rated and 80 chemistry, which is brilliant. Bundesliga player, team of the week, and 83 rated with 75 chemistry. This SPC is so, so reasonably priced. This is what we're looking for, obviously, we are being in a slight off leak. I know that I've obviously said that the MLS holds a good variety of players this year, which is absolutely brilliant to see. Um, but it's still technically in an off leak. Kind of difficult to link Mexicans into your team, unless you have icons or whatever. But I think that this is absolutely brilliant value for an SPC. Obviously, the team of the week brings this up in price. Um... But, again, I don't mind this. I think it's absolutely brilliant. A jumbo premium gold pack and an electron players pack. I think this is absolutely brilliant value, guys. So, let's jump over to um, Footbin and let's see exactly what we are working with here, guys. So, obviously, we have Javier Hernandez here. The only issue is there, there is a few red flags about this card. I've already looked at them. There is a couple of red flags and I'll obviously pick, on, pick up on them when we're working through it. The three star skill moves and the three star weak foot is a straight up red flag for this stage of the game. Give him four star, four star. Do you know what I mean? Just make him a wee bit more usable. Even if that means that you need to make it an 84 rated instead of an 83 rated squad, the four star, four star would help. He has absolutely terrible work rates, low medium work rates. Just just make him medium high. Just make him medium high work rates, make him a wee bit more usable. In terms of traits though, good news, we have a finesse shot outside of the foot shot and a set piece specialist. Which I'm actually seriously, seriously confused about the fact that he's got a set-piece specialist um, trait, but his crossing is 76 and his free-kick accuracy is 62. So, aye, what that one out. But anyway, this card is coming in at 78k, 86k. So he's coming in enough for a bit, just say 80k. I think that's a brilliant value for this SBC. But as I said, the, the skill moves, the weak foot, the, the, the work rates are red flags straight up. When I look at this card... Most would say pace at 88 needs a hunter. A hunter is absolutely brilliant from 96 pace. Shooting is absolutely brilliant. Passing is passing's not that great. Dribbling is actually very, very good. And then his physicals is not very good either. 
Um, so your passing your physicals is seriously lacking in this card. Outside of that, as I said, dribble and pace and shooting are very, very good with the Hunter Kemp style. With the dead eye, it becomes a 93 centre forward. You can get away with playing him cam. You can also get away with playing him striker as well. I feel like he does need that pace boost. A hawk could be very good for him. Gives him that extra wee 5 in strength. Gives him that 10 in aggression as well. Shooting is brilliant. And now the pace is sitting at 80, 93. Sorry. Engine as well, I think, works on this card. Gets the agility balance more or less maxed out. Adds the 10 to the dribbling. Fixes the pace. And then, obviously, your passing is, is, is um, um, boosted as well. With the 95 finishing and 97 positioning, I would suggest the engine is very, very good. But... I think the fact that he needs, he only has, sorry, the 86 shot power, I just think is a wee bit low. Therefore, in my opinion, I'm probably going to go with a marksman for him. Um, I think that pace is very, very good. Um, as it is, I know he's a wee bit slow in terms of his sprint speed, guys. But I think the marksman catches as much as it possibly can. It gives it a good 10 to the strength. It gives 10 to the dribbling, 90 ball control, and 5 to reaction. Uh, 5 to reactions. He'll feel very, very light. He'll feel slippery. He'll feel very, very good. And then his shooting is, is more or less maxed out with the addition to the shot power as well. The shot pass and the curve and, and the vision is a wee bit low, but um, where you're going to maybe play in this card, as I said, it would be ideal if you had a one-league set up for, for, for completing other foundations and stuff. I think that this card would be absolutely brilliant in the kind of game modes. Um, I'll definitely be completing this card. I think it's a very, very good card. Um, as I said, a couple of red flags, skill moves, weak foot, work rates and then obviously stamina is a wee bit low, short passing and, and curve are a wee bit low as well and then obviously to try and find the right chem style you're kind of need to compensate in other areas like for example I'd really love to have the hunter kind of pace but I think that the marksman just catches a lot of good stats that are essential in the game. So that is Javi Hernandez guys coming in at roughly about 80, 80, between 80 and 90k let's say I think it's a brilliant valued SBC and it's definitely something that I will be completing. So that now takes us to the squad foundation uh, um, for the MLS set two. Um, we have Aruo, Aruo, we'll call him Aruo, that's cool, we're, we're good with that. From his base card, he's had 11 pace, 5 shooting, 10 passing, 6 dribbling, 18 defending and 18 physicals. When I look at this card guys, when I think to myself that I have 18 matches in managerial masterpiece to play, I just feel like these cards... I've said it for, for, for the last squad foundations as well, from the, the championship ones for the Eredivisie, and I know I've just showed you that I've went and completed them, but that's just me. But obviously, we, we, we the, with the kind of, the, the head on the game, so to speak, where like we want usable cards, especially at nearly at the end of March, these cards should just be a wee bit more juice. That is my opinion on it. Why can they not make this guy like an 86 or an 87 rated and then with the Wanyama, make him 90 rated and make him very, very good game, a good pace, shooting, passing, and then the rest. Why does why does it not just make it a very, very good boost and make it actually something worth playing for? Now, I know when you look at Brazilian right-backs in this game, um, there isn't actually too many of them, so let's go and actually check that. Um, Brazilian... The uh, bobbles about this so much, but then sometimes. So when we look at Brazilian right backs, guys, there isn't too much. Obviously, uh, Bruno <coughs> Bruno Silva Perez here, two hundred thirty k. If you didn't catch Emerson from the objectives in the season progress, and then obviously if you can't actually afford, which, which most people can, Carlos Alberto, Aruro is actually a very very good high rated Brazilian right back. But when you look at his actual stats here, guys. His dribbling is absolutely terrible other than agility balance. His passing is just absolutely terrible overall. His pace is nowhere near good enough. His defending is nowhere near good enough. His physicals other than stamina are nowhere, nowhere, nowhere near, near good enough. So in every single section, pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defending, physical, there's red flags. And I understand that people might say, I will you moan about the fact that we're not getting any uh, grindable content to be playing games for and stuff. I get that, but I just feel like, as I said, these cards should be a wee bit more juiced. When I look at, um, so let's actually go to, so we'll clear this and we'll clear this. So when I actually look at um, the championship, for example, so I just completed these squad foundations, so it was actually Benduia and uh, Jefferson Lerma 
and uh, Rico Henry. Why can these, at this stage of the game, no be such a boot? Why can he no be an 86 left back? Why can he no be an 88 centre defensive mid? And then make when, when we are maybe an 89 or a 90. Do you know what I mean? I just don't understand why they're so reluctant to begin as just cards at this stage of this game. Especially if they're playing 18 matches in managerial masterpiece. But as I said, I've went on a wee bit too long about it. Um, I've mentioned it in every single squad foundation when they've been released. So you know my feelings on it, guys. But anyway, these are the cards that you're going to unlock. So Aruro, as I said, a reasonably decent overall rating. Brazilian right back. Obviously, when we look at MLS right backs as well, there's no actually too many of them. Um, so let me just, as I said, this fuck then just dads a bit too much for me sometimes. So we grab MLS here, and then we'll grab positions at right back. We don't actually have any right backs other than your your silver stars. Damn there. Um, so Aruro is a good addition to the game in terms of Brazilian. MLS right backs, but you're going to need to save him with a shadow, make some good pace, makes his defending reasonable. But as I said, his dribbling is absolutely terrible outside the agility balance, his passing is absolutely terrible as well, and his physicals outside the stamina are terrible. But that is probably going to be the first player you unlock, guys. Um, I believe that is for scoring 12 finesse goals. Let me just check on console here so that I know what I'm actually talking about. Um, but let me know how you're feeling about these milestones, guys. I hope I'm not the only one that feels the same. A wee bit underwhelmed. Love the fact that they're there. Love the fact that they're there. But just underwhelmed with the rating, uh, uh, the cards, and what you're actually putting into the game. 18 matches in managerial masterpiece. If you're like me, and have already completed the Championship St. Patrick's Days and the Eredivisie, you'll realise how daunting the managerial masterpiece is. I need to add in the fact that I've completed Giroud as well. He was in managerial masterpiece, so it is a long and daunting process, guys. But... For 18 matches, but to get this Aruro, you need to score 12 finesse goals, which is fair enough. Then we have a Gayu. Gayu, Gayu, Gayu. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but anyway, we'll go with Gayu. Um, he has had 3 pace, 22 shooting, 15 passing, 13 dribbling, 7 defending, and 10 physicals. So he's had quite a, a, a big upgrade from his base card, but again, no, no big enough in my opinion. 3 star, 4 star, which is no too bad. Medium high work rates, and he has the flare trait. So let's have a look at, um, we'll keep it in MLS and we'll have a look at positioning. So left, mid, left wing and left forward positioning. So then again, Gayu uh, is no actually, like he's the best one there. There's no actually anybody else that can test with him. And then also we need to look at the fact that he will absolutely perfect link, base, or go strong link to the left back card from the previous squad foundations, that Nick Lima card. So it's actually not a bad addition, again. I'm not, I don't mind this card, you look at the pace, it's absolutely brilliant, the agility balance is brilliant, reactions, ball control are a wee bit low and his stamina is really good, his passing absolutely sucks, therefore I think that you need a passing chem style, um, so a dead eye is probably the one for me, I think a marksman you could get away with, with good reactions, ball control and dribbling boost there, good strength boost and good jumping boost if you're not really too fussed about the passing, but I would go with a marksman or a dead eye, as I said in terms of like American or MLS or F wingers, this is a good addition to the game. But again, it's no gonna, it's no good enough of an addition to actually be just enough to play in this game, way guys. But that is basically what we're dealing with. That is just what we've got to go with. So that is no too bad. And then we come to the end, the end of the the squad foundations. This is the group reward, guys. Victor Wanyama, obviously having links to Celtic. I'm looking forward to getting this guy. Um, previously. Obviously played with Celtic, previous Southampton and Spurs as well. So 23 pace, which is a big upgrade, which is good. 10 shooting, 13 passing, 10 dribbling, defending and 9 physicals. Again, pace is far too low, therefore a shadow is 100% needed. As a centre-back though, guys, this guy could be very, very usable. 2-star, 3-star, um, he has an injury-prone trait, which I don't understand. Agility balance is no too bad. Reactions ball control is very, very good. Dribbling and composure is a wee bit low. Physicals are excellent. Physicals are, like, base physicals are very, very good. Long and short passing is actually very good as well at base. I'd probably just play him centre-back, I genuinely would. And then, obviously, if we go to the actual MLS again, guys, we can look at, we've got the Higuain and the DeSantos, the Carlos Vela, which was a record-breaker card that I don't actually own. But we look at, um, we, have, we have Opara as a centre-back, we have Aaron Long, who was part of the squad foundations, the first set, which is a good could play um you could absolutely play Victor Wanyama centre back with him. And then you have Bojan Nani to, to, to um 
to play in the midfield. Matuidi is there as well. Um, if you don't own the record breaker Vela, we have base Vela who would be good enough for, for MLS side. De Santos plays in midfield. Higuain Hernandez up front. Um, so the MLS have actually been getting a fair crap, crack of the whip this year, guys. They've actually been getting a lot of decent cards added into the game, which is great to see. It's kind of similar to the, the Liga Nost last year. I felt like they got quite a lot of cards last year, which was absolutely brilliant. So, I mean, these cards are good if you're looking to make... Um, if you're looking to make... Uh, Weird and wonderful wonderful squads, if you want to call them that. I like the fact they're there. I love the fact that we're getting milestones. I love the fact that we're getting content that can be unlocked through the game. I feel that there's not really enough of it. But then, obviously, I'm a wee bit um, a wee bit underwhelmed with the cards that we're actually getting, guys. But that is the hand we've been dealt. So, in, in a whole tonight, guys, it's basically been an MLS-themed content drop. Flashback SBC, Chicharito Hernandez... As we can see, they are very, very good value for money. And then, obviously, we have the the, the Milestones uh, MLS um, set 2. Which, again, as I said, it's brilliant that they're there. A wee bit underwhelming in terms of the cards. But what I will be completing them. I will be completing Her Hernandez. But um, that is basically all for tonight, guys. If you are enjoying the videos, drop a like in the video. It would be very, very much appreciated. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, dudes. It would be, again, very much appreciated. But that is me. I will catch you tomorrow night for the release of Team of the Week. Don't believe there is a Silver Stars um, because, obviously, the new season on Friday. If they bring a Silver Stars out <coughs> tomorrow, it would mean we'd only have two, two days to complete it, guys. So, um, new Team of the Week tomorrow, guys. So, I'll be bringing that to you tomorrow. So, stay tuned, tuned in the channel for that. But until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. And I'm out. Cheers, cheers.